There's, there's a, it's, it's funny, you talk about that there's no like moment that, that, that everything changes or there's the a reinvention. Self. I had a very clear moment. You did? Yeah. Well, I, but, but here's the, it's like, okay, I, no, no, no. I did too, I thought. It's like, I was directing TV commercials and watching food shows and deciding, you know what? These food shows are boring me. I want to make food shows, so I'm going to quit doing what I'm doing and I'm going to go to culinary school. And everybody said, you are out of your freaking mind. You are going to be working at McDonald's in five years or, you know, get ready for your red vest at, at Walmart. Um, and, and we all called it career change, but it wasn't. It wasn't a career change at all. And it only, it, you have to get further back from it and live it a while to realize, oh, that wasn't a career change at all. I was simply acquiring new skills for what I was meant to do anyway. I think that one of the problems is that people think that their passion is enough to get them where they want to go. Oh, I want it so bad. The universe could give a crap about how bad you want anything. What the universe cares about and responds to is how well you can align your capabilities and skill set to what it is you really want to do. Then you actually get somewhere. That's what everybody up here has done. We knew that we wanted to do something, but we also were realistic about our, our skill sets and what we're capable of doing. Um, so I think that you've got to be willing to roll the dice on big changes in your life. You've got to keep the, little, keep the little piddling crap away so that you're not living in a cage. But you have to realize that it's a big, wide continuum and that um, you know, in, in 20 years you're going to look back and you may not even see where that big turn was anymore. Yeah, one of the things that I've been surprised by as I've managed to get successes that I only dreamed of a few years ago is how difficult it is the whole time. You, I think you often think there's like a breaking in moment and then you get through that door and there's just like gummy drops and everyone's there and you just get to do whatever you want and that doesn't exist. <laughs> and it's like this um, huge struggle the entire time. And the thing that I've been trying to deal with the most is I think with driven people, you really want something. You want to achieve making a movie or getting to the space station or <laughs> whatever it is. You, you have this goal that is your driven thing. And it's really difficult to not say to yourself, okay, I'm not enjoying what I'm doing right now, but I'm gonna be happy when I get that. Because what happens is you get that and you're maybe happy for five minutes and then there's something else that you want. And you've spent 95% of your time like not being happy with where you are now and, and kind of putting your happiness at a, at a moment in the future. And so what I've been really working on is just trying to really enjoy the process of getting to that point because that's, most of your life. <laughs> and as soon as you get there, there's gonna be something else you want to achieve. I'm sure Steven Spielberg is still, exactly, he's, there's something he wants to achieve and he's struggling to try and, and get there. And so. No, he's pretty it, much good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there's one guy, there's one guy. But it. it's, it's hard to really be appreciative of all the little steps and all the things that go wrong. And a friend of mine just told me this saying uh, last week, he's saying, these are the good old days. And trying to remind yourself of kind of like that moment of, of trying to get something made is actually all the work. And so that is actually you doing what you want to be doing. And okay. trying to remind yourself all that time is very difficult, but it's important when you're a driven person to kind of celebrate all of the missteps and all of the like kind of struggles to get there. Somebody took a grease pencil on the inside of the space station and wrote on the wall, there's nothing more important than what you're doing right now. <laughs>